Now we're gonna like blend the eyebrows because I know what you guys are thinking. Like, oh goodness, somebody stop her. Dolls, it's your girl, American Gyaru, and if you are new, welcome, welcome to the doll family. Here on this channel, we do experiments with like makeup, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, you know, all the girl things. And we also do giveaways, so please don't forget to subscribe. But before we get started, I do want to let you dolls know that what inspired this video today is the Floriental Tuberose Scent from Dossier. They sent me four different bottles that I got to play with and experiment with, and I thought what better way to show dolls like just how amazing their scents are by doing a video inspired by one. So what I'm gonna do is share a little bit about the company, Dossier, so that just in case you dolls also feel inspired after watching this video, then please go ahead and check them out. For those of you who have not heard of Dossier, they reproduce classic high-end luxury scents, but for the fraction of the price. Also, their scents are crafted in France. They are a clean company, paraben-free, animal cruelty-free. So dolls, what more could you ask for in your scent? This scent is inspired by DiptyQ. I'll also put a picture on the screen so some of you dolls may already be familiar with this scent. And let me know in the comment section below if you have it. The top notes that are orange blossom and rose. Middle notes is tuberose and daffodil. And the base notes is benzoin musk and orange. So first of all, let me go ahead and really get into character here. Mmm, smells so pretty and beautiful, okay? I would definitely describe this scent as feminine, sensual, like, really fun and flirty, like, it's just the sweet tuberose is so intoxicating. Adults, like, seriously, it would definitely get a few admirers. I'm gonna put my discount code in the description box below, so just in case, again, you dolls feel inspired to go ahead and bring out your sensual side, then go ahead and click the link below. So now I'm going to show you guys the makeups that I'm going to be using based on the smell and the scent. That's exactly what inspired the makeup choices. And let's just go ahead and get started. These two and blending it, blending the colors. And I just got this one at an Asian market and it's a perfecting foundation. So I really like it. It has both have SPF, so yeah, that's a definite must have. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that together. Start from the center and I'm just going to bring it up. Oh, I just love this brush. I can't say enough. If you don't see this brush, I got this at TJ Maxx, but if you see this, this is by Purr. Definitely pick yourself up one. It really cuts down makeup time. If you dolls are wondering, I do have a spe very special occasion tonight and I'm so excited because we are going to be going to an upscale like steakhouse, but it's going to be at the top of a hotel, so it has this beautiful marine view. They have a wonderful piano in there, and they just have like the sun glistening on the water. So it's still like glamorous, but and classy and fun, but still it's got that light coming through. So I don't know if you guys can imagine that or if it makes any sense. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as a base. So I'm just going to brighten my eye. I love this color. I love this also as a blush, especially for the daytime. What I imagine the girl wearing this type of perfume, I would definitely say she's like super like sweet and she's super like friendly to everyone. She's probably nice to girls and guys all together and she probably actually on accident flirts with both 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 of them um and she probably is like the best friend who like will be at every one of your parties and she'll be like the best like bestie who will like make sure like you know you have a good time if she's planning your party and she's your best friend she makes sure her bridal shower she makes sure all your party fevers are all to par probably all look like pretty together prim not proper though. She's like a girl's girl, I guess. She's a girl's girl. She's also the type of girl that probably is like totally is in love with her man and like, okay, so I'm gonna be using yeah, this. So I like both, I like how it's dual. So I'm gonna use this as like a highlighter. Yeah, like what was I saying? Oh yeah, she's like probably like super nice to her boyfriend all the time, super like romantic and polite. So 
probably like totally dead in love with him as well and she probably always tries to like please him um and that's not a bad thing dolls i'm gonna go with this pink blush so let me get back to like describing this girl um the girl that would wear this and i just feel weird now because i'm thinking like i'm describing the girl and i'm saying this is my favorite scent i just don't want your dolls to be like oh are you talking about yourself i'm just saying i can see why it's so popular and the scent is just you know so iconic so totally okay she also probably like loves cuddling with her boyfriend so i can see her like going to the bathroom showering and before she comes out of the bathroom she like has this bottle or the tester one in her purse and she's just like shoo, 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 shoo. comes out of the bathroom and the man be like oh my gosh did heaven just stop by because i think i see an angel let's go ahead and have some fun with the eyeshadow yeah y'all i like using this as an eyeshadow as well it's the same like blush color so <laughs> dolls just letting you dolls know i'm not a guru or anything like that like i just started like getting into like makeup and just i'm so fascinated by the art of doing makeup <laughs> Very raccoon. Oh gosh, I think I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna try some of this here. Dolls, this is like my favorite fall palette. So yeah, I was kind of wanting these kinds of colors to show up on the other palette, but it's not, so it's okay. Poetic. Oh, I got this from Shein too. Look at that pigment. Absolutely amazing. And just to balance it out, I'm gonna go ahead and use some more shimmer here. In the inner corner and bring that out. But yeah, I just think that this a person who would wear this scent would definitely love shimmers. I don't think she may not go all the way with the dark, but she definitely will mess with like these light colors right here for sure. This is quite the special occasion and it is going to be in sunset time and it's going to be fine dining so I must, I must put, I must dress accordingly. Alright dolls, let's go ahead and do some eyebrows because now I'm looking really weird. She would wear brown, yeah, probably brown eyeliner too, for sure. Yeah, and I gotta make my bra super big because she probably is a girl that has natural bushy eyebrows and um, that I don't have. I just don't. Hello there. Super scary. Yeah, this girl's like definitely like s sweet. I can see her as like the girl next, like not that good. Like not like that wholesome. Now we're gonna like blend the eyebrows because I know what you guys are thinking. Like, oh my goodness. Somebody stop her. Blend her out, clean her up, don't worry, don't worry dolls. It's gonna, it's gonna work, it's gonna work, it has to work. So I have this, and I got this from a Japanese mark. Definitely dolls, I'm telling you, this, this scent will make you feel like super feminine. Like, you feel expensive, but not in like a bougie way. You just feel more like, like, you're like, you're just such a charming girl that kind of like everyone always did things for you so you kind of just get a, get away with it because you're just so sweet like you know those people who are like you just always want to like not protect not so much like protect or anything like that but just kind of like always like oh let me get the door for you or oh do you you know guys be like oh let me do you want me to help you with this do you want me to help you with that life is just a little bit easier or it looks a little bit easier for them you know you know what I mean? I don't know how those like beauty people, they just know how to like clean that right under the eyebrow. Oh my gosh. Shut up, guys. Okay, dolls, so it's really like decent. And I like to put eyeshadow on the bottom, so most of you dolls know that by now. I go with a little bit of, a little bit of iridescent on the inner corner. Super fun, super flirty. 
This right here is Florianto tuberose in definition. Right there. Go with this color, pink. The pigment on these palettes is insane. I'm just like, shoot. I'm already gonna start with this birthday, I mean, cream powder. Oh, review, it smells like cake batter. So yummy, and I like the texture. It goes on so nicely. I like the shade. I like the way it looks. I like the way it smells. Oh my gosh, love it. Good coverage. Oh my gosh, I found the holy grail. I do my signature because I love this own look. White eyeliner and ink corner. I'm going to put some lashes on. My vanity always looks like the jungle after I'm done using makeup. Comment if that's the same for you dolls. I always get like so envious because like I don't know how everyone can keep their, their space so pretty and clean and perfect. Their makeups don't even get dirty. Yeah, definitely want to put some foundation. I'm gonna use my smash lipstick. Yes. My Too Faced Lip Plumping Gloss. This is all looking fabulous, but I, I just think she would have a lot more highlighter on and a little bit more shimmer. So. I think this lipstick is not really, well it is, it's, it's it has to be a little bit more feminine. What can I do to make it a little bit more feminine? That's it. I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer somewhere. There we go. That's more like her. There we go, dolls. And you know what? Set it off with cocoa gold mist. Darn, that looks so amazing. But not as amazing as my beautiful sun, which I'm also going to spray again. If you like the tubers, yeah, this is this is what she be looking like. Dolls, a girl that wears glowy and tubero definitely has this type of look for makeup for sure. You can imagine. What kind of personality she may have based on this makeup look. Thank you so much dolls for watching and subscribing and supporting this channel. I love each and every one of you so stay tuned and if you're new again don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell for more videos, giveaways, and more girl fun. Okay. Oh what the? Again why didn't anyone tell me about this?